All right, this is Frank, and this is part two of uh, class number three of the special training for underwriters in training. And I'm going to share my screen right now. And um, I'm going to get rid of this. And we are in one of Mr. Schroeder's clients. So before we go into Mr. Schroeder's clients, we left off with uh, Casey Hagstrom, and Casey Hagstrom had a uh, credit partner, and the credit partner was uh, oh, no, that's loud. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> sorry about that, Trish. You were awfully loud. All right. So, so back. <laughs> Well, I got to learn how to not be so distracted so easy. Back to Casey Hagstrom. She wanted to go for the $70,000. She had a credit partner that, that stepped in for her and stepped up to the plate. And that credit partner, I said, was a paid or unpaid partner. And uh, David had a question. So, David, go ahead and unmute yourself and ask me that question. Yes, Frank. So the question was, uh, how is it that a credit partner can be paid or unpaid? Great question. So let's say it's grandma, and I've got a lot of them, and grandma doesn't have anything to do with buy, fix, and flip, or any kind of business you might be in. My grandma might not even like cannabis and you're in the cannabis business, but grandma loves you and she wants you to be successful. So she lends you her FICO score so that you can go ahead and do your business. Grandma needs to be on your secretary of state as an advisor, a consultant, a board member, whatever just some officer of your organization. That, organ, that officer may not ask for or request any payment. Over the years, many people have asked me to be a board member, to sit on the board of a company, and there was no paycheck available, I mean, not no paycheck um, available for that, for that position. It was just they wanted to use my expertise and I was willing to donate my expertise and, and help them and give them answers. And yet there was no paycheck there. So there I was a board member, but I wasn't paid. So you don't have to be paid. The, the, the key, the reason I said that is some people would not do it unless you pay them. So I'm making the distinction between paid and unpaid. Some people will gladly do it because they want you to be successful. And some people will say, if you want five cents worth of my information in my brain, it's going to cost you 50% of your company. It's just human nature. So they can be paid or unpaid. Does that answer that question, David? Yes, it does. Thanks, Frank. Okay. Do you have any follow-up? I mean, was that really clear? Okay. I'm going to take your silence as it was really clear, and I'm going to move on. Now, Carla is – oh, man, I shouldn't have this show. <laughs> Can't help it. Okay. Um, so, Carla is a current customer. David, do you mind if I use Carla's information to, to – That's okay. All right. Okay. So, all right. The other one was a long time ago customer and, and wouldn't hurt anything. This is actually a new customer. So, um, David and I call Carla and we ask Carla to get in a room all by herself with uh, no television, no phones, no interruption, close the door and, um, we're going to send you an email in a moment. Carla agrees to all of that. We send her the email. 
we ask Kyla to please open the email as soon as you get it. Kyla opens up the email and we say, okay, Kyla, unfortunately, here is where unfortunately really works. Unfortunately, you didn't qualify. Okay. And these are the reasons you didn't qualify. So basically, Carla, um, we can't give you the loan as you asked for. We can't, we, we had too little information about you to even come up with a legitimate amount of money that we'd be willing to give you. So you've got to charge off history. You've um, had something repossessed or written off because you didn't pay it. And it's on Clark County uh, Court. You have too many inquiries, Carly. You've been out shopping around for loans and Carly, you're getting the same answer over and over and over again. No, they're not going to give you the money. Your credit card applications within the past six months, you've applied for way too many credit cards in the last six months that have all told you no. Okay, so Carla, if you're going to be serious about fill in the blank, buy, fix, and flip, real estate, cannabis, or any other business that you might be in. If you're going to be serious about business, you understand, Carla, you need to have good credit, right? And Carla will respond back, right. Well, Carla, good news. Even though you're absolutely not going to qualify and they didn't even give you a, um, a counteroffer, even though we have two things that we can work with you on. One is called um, credit restoration. Now, I did not say credit repair. Everybody knows credit repair doesn't work. Credit restoration is a process that takes anywhere from two to six months, and it goes through and it gets rid of bankruptcies, judgments, foreclosures, repossessions, IRS tax liens, student loans, medical bills, excessive inquiries, even child support. What I'd like to do, Carla, is I would like to introduce you to someone who can sign you up for the credit restoration program so that we can get you back on track and so that we can actually fund you in anywhere from two to six months. Would that be okay with you, Carla? So David, answer, answer for Carla. Well, that sounds good, but how much will it cost me? It is dirt cheap. It starts at $188 down. I'll need a credit card or a debit card with $188 room on it. And I'll need $89 per month. And there's no contract. You can quit at any time. Carly, you're down at 500 FICO. I've seen in, in uh, three to four months having people come all the way up from 500 FICOs all the way up to 769. So you, there is no contract. You can end at any time when you get to the 769 FICO. If you want to quit at that point, great. If you want to keep going, you can. So would that, would that be helpful to you, Kyler? Now, David, answer in the negative because you've got a million-dollar deal you want to close. Well, Frank, uh, I need something quicker. I don't want to lose this this opportunity I have. What else do you have that's even quicker? All right, Kyler, I'm glad you asked. We have a credit sterilization program, and if you're going to be missing out on the deal of the century, if you've got a million-dollar deal and you don't want to miss out on it, we have another way of doing this. It's a, it is a judicial way. We're not going to negotiate these bad things away, but we're going to sue these bad things away. And this is called credit sterilization. This is done in under 30 days. We actually get a court docket number and we go back to the people who are reporting your negative credit and we tell them 
because you're, of you reporting their negative credit, you are hurting my client's opportunity to close on this big deal that she wants to close on. So therefore, we're going to sue you. Nobody likes to get sued, and the credit bureaus do get paid for reporting bad information, but they don't get paid $10,000. And they're going to be sued in a minimum for $10,000 on each line item that they're reporting negatively. So the credit bureaus succumb to our pressure and they say, okay, we will take it off. Once they take it off in under 30 days, we will put a block on it, a legal block on it, so it cannot be reported again for seven years. In credit history, seven years is forever. So that's how we can do it. The price of that, I should have let you ask that. <laughs> All right. So what is that, how does that sound, Carla? How does that sound to you? That sounds great. Um, hit me with the charge. I think it still would be worth it because it would just help my overall goal. All right. Now, the price of that, because we are actually using attorneys, is $2,500. Um, to get you started, Carla, you could pay the whole $2,500 on a credit card if you have it. If you don't have room on the credit card, you could pay $250 to start. That's 10%. And it, as I said, it takes under 30 days to get it done. If we can roll this into your deal that you're trying to go for, if there's room in your deal to put the $2,500, you can just pay it at the time you close your deal. So in other words, you put 10% down to get started. It gets completed in under 30 days. And then you have to make one more payment of 10%. And your loan closes in 30 days and pays the rest of the balance off. You're good to go. Is that something that would be uh, useful to you, Carla? Well, that sounds real good. However, I just paid $300 to a credit company to kind of take these things off. What are my chances they'll actually be able to do it? That's what she really told me. As I said, everybody knows credit repair doesn't work. It's a bigger scam out there. There's tons of laws against credit repair, but nobody seems to get prosecuted. They just take your money, take your money, take your money. The biggest one out there is Lexington Law. You can get on with Lexington Law, and you can pay them till the cows come home. Um, very, very little happens. Very little comes off. And credit repair just simply doesn't work. Kyler, if you're serious about it, write it off. Bite the bullet. Go ahead and put up the, the um, $250, and let's get started. What do you think? Sounds good. All right, and Carla, there is, of course, another uh, way out. If you have a rich uncle or somebody that has, like Uncle Frankie, if you have a rich uncle, or you could use them as a business, as a credit partner by borrowing their FICO. Do you have anyone that you could borrow their FICO? Heck no. They know who I am. They're not going to give me any money. Okay, Carla, then your answer is what I've given you. That's the answer. Let's get. Let's go ahead and get it started, and that and that's the end of that. Okay, so that that went into the training. If there's any questions, unmute yourself, shout your name out, ask the question. I just want to know. Can you hear me now? <laughs> you know what? Um, President Bush said that to Saddam Hussein while he was dropping the bombs. <laughs> can you hear me now? <laughs> Okay, you heard me. So that means my head is working. I heard you. <laughs> okay, so no okay, let me, let me ask you something. I, I'm going to do this program. So what do I do? I have to for this, you know, foreclosure thing. Um, so who do I contact? Is it Judy or is it Alice? Um, Judy is <clears throat> Judy is the best one for that. Okay, I was going to do it underground and use a credit hack, but I decided I better not because I don't. I'm not sure that that's. But what they told me is that. What they told me that they do is exactly what you're doing, but I'd rather do it where I know it's, you know, really legal. Yeah, we do it all with, with real attorneys, really on board. We use three, three government agencies. We use the Treasury. We use uh, 
the judicial, and of course, I forget the last one. Okay, we use three government can, agencies. Can, to do it. can I can I ask you how many attorneys you use, and do you ever you know, do you ever not, put any more? I don't have a clue. You don't. don't have a clue. Oh, okay. Okay. So now, well, we. God, I don't know where I am. What? Oh. I don't have any idea. Do you know what day it is? Do you no, know what I don't day, know what day it, is? it is. It's Thursday, right? Or is it Saturday? Okay, it's 11. It's Friday. I don't know where I am on the half hour is what I meant. You smart ass. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know on the half hour where I am, but I do want to talk about one other thing, two other things. Um, I want to talk about, can anyone tell me the fastest way to a paycheck using easy financials tools that we have available to us. What is the fastest way to a picture? All right, I'm gonna give you the answer. Oh. Go ahead. If you got it, I was, go no, I was just gonna say I was just gonna say what you told us yesterday to post ads for a personal term loan or something like that. Correct. That's the answer. Oh really? That is? Oh personal, you're kidding. I didn't No, no, I'm oh, dead wow. serious. Everyone, everyone who's who's um, doing the underwriter and training uh, have challenges financially. Um, I don't expect anyone to come to us with all the money in the world, and I always try to make something available to make it worthwhile for that person to get paid right away. The fastest way to get paid is to run ads any way you want to in social media, in LinkedIn, in any place possible, prom promoting cash for any reason. Cash for any reason. Do you need cash for any reason? Any bigger than the rest of the words and maybe underlined. Cash for any reason, because you can use this cash for anything you want to use it for. Do you need cash for any reason? Contact Patricia at, and then get her the information. And when they contact you, they say, okay, so what's the catch? All right, here's the catch. Um, how long have you been living in the house that you live in? Um, a year and a half. How long have you been working for the company that you're working for? Two years. How, how, um, what is your FICO score look like? 659 okay and how much money do you make annually um 51000 i've got some great news for you uncle frankie you qualify and then all you have to do is take the application and uh, submit the application on input leads in your back office spell out that what they have they've been living at their first of all oops you're a W-2 employee. You make $52,000 a year. You've been living in the same house for more than a year. You've been working at the same job for more than a year. And um, I forgot, I forgot what the numbers are. But you just need to put that down in the description and that they want a personal term loan. They can get approved in 24 to 48 hours. And you guys are underwriters in training, so you need to know how to push the envelope. And I didn't say push Uncle Frankie. I said push the envelope. You need to know how to put them in, get them to where they need to be as quickly as possible, and get them funded. In 24 to 48 hours, we can put $50,000 in their bank account. If we put the $50,000 in their bank account, we're gonna charge them the 9.9% .9 and you're going to get a paycheck next Wednesday. Is that fast enough? Frank, question on that. Yes, go ahead. If their FICO score is at 650 or so, couldn't they get funding anywhere else with loans at that type of situation anyhow? In two days? I don't know, I, I don't know the market. The answer is no, heck no. Heck no, they're not going to get a loan in two days anywhere. They're not going to, and they're certainly not going to get $50,000 in two days anywhere. So the answer is, I'm, I didn't mean to be rough on you. The answer is no. They're not going to get it. Do we need to create an ad with those bullet points, basically, that, that tips their eyeballs 
and that's it. Um, what is it easier to catch bees with, honey or vinegar? Honey. honey of course. Okay. So whenever I do an ad, I put all, all the honey I can in the ad. Yeah. All the benefits in the world in the ad, and I never put the requirements. I always say, for more information, contact Trish. And then Trish gets the spoon out the vinegar. So you have, have do you have a six fifty or above? Have you lived and do you make forty to sixty thousand dollars a year? Have you worked for the same company for twelve months? Have you lived in the same house for twelve months? Are you a W two employee? So she gets the spoon out the vinegar, one teaspoon at a time, and then they say, Great, they're gonna come for the honey. You'll give them the vinegar after they ask for more information. If they still love what they found, then they'll go for it. You fill out the application in 24 to 40 hours, they're approved, and the next day the money is in their bank account. I hate to tell you this, but I kind of agree with uh, David. What about just putting the bullet points? That way you you weed out the, uh, you know, the do whatever disease. you want. You're the underwriter. Do whatever you want. Do whatever. Yeah, go I put think, up yeah, all, all vinegar. Forget yeah, it, put up you know? all the vinegar, and then if they still want it, then they'll contact you. Yeah. It's okay. So you're, the, you're the underwriter. You are an independent representative. Do as you like. Do what you believe is correct. Okay. Um, Thanks, Frank. I think I've gone through all of today's um okay fastest money credit restoration credit sterilization oh credit partner and marketing client yes i have completed everything if there's any other questions about any part of today's training feel free to ask yeah, I wanted to ask you about the credit sterilization. If you uh, sell it to an attorney, um, how do you do it? I mean, do they have to do they have to pay up front first, or do they just sell it to their client and then and then order it? I mean, how does that work? That's a fantastic question, and um, there are two people in the world who are extremely hard to get loans for. Uh, extremely hard. They are pastors and attorneys. Pastors are very, very hard to get a loan for because they never really know how much money they're going to make until after they count the collection plate. And lawyers, because they know how to manipulate the system so that you can't collect the money from them. So those two people traditionally, I saw my mind, somebody else made this rule up. Those two people are the hardest two people Funded. The third hardest person, of course, is the self-employed. So, but the top two is pastors and attorneys are the hardest people to get a loan for. And so the answer to your question is, yes, we can do it. <clears throat> and what we would do is we would charge them the full price for the service. They probably make enough money to pay for it. Um, they probably make enough money to pay for it. If they're going to sell the product, they're not going to sell it for $2,500. An attorney will sell this minimum for $5,000, and I've seen them sell this service for, for $12,000. And if they have a rich, I know what we had one client, we had one guy in California, I'm not going to use his name, he was um, credit restoration to the stars i think i i hope you don't look that up because you'll find out who it was i'm talking about and he charged thousands and thousands fifteen thousand dollars just to fill out the application and he wasn't finished billing you and he just did it for football players basketball players baseball players movie stars for people who go through millions of dollars and don't get themselves in financial trouble, he would go find those people and he would talk to them and 
it would cost 50,000 to mount the application. So you have a very, very powerful tool here in a very cheap price compared to everybody else. I think the attorneys, the attorneys oh, but, but to get, sorry, but to get started though, do you tell them they've got to, do they pay 2,500 that gets them in the system or does, or can they wait until they have a client that they want to refer and then they pay it? How does that work? Yes. It's just like, just like, it's like selling hot dogs. <laughs> you, you don't have to pay for the hot dog up front. Just, okay. just find the customer. When you find the customer, fill out the questionnaire for the customer, the name, rank, serial number, what everything about the client, and submit that with your payment for twenty five hundred dollars. And in under thirty days, um, your customer will be returned back to the attorney, not to the customer. And it'll be returned back to the attorney. The attorney calls the client in for a consultation and says, Patricia, great news. You have a 769 FICO. My, the rest of my fee is going to be whatever it okay, is. Okay, is there, can you uh, also offer them the option of signing up as an agent so they get an extra 15, don't they get 15%? Uh, override or something on that twenty five hundred if they sell it. In addition no, you to, do. I okay. You get so I would get it. Right, and if you don't want that fifty percent, if you think the poor attorney needs it, and you don't. Oh, I get well, it. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. I don't think the poor attorney. I think you need the fifteen percent more than the attorney does. Okay. Frank, is that 15% based off the 3% the company gets from that $50,000 loan, or how does that work? Not One thing has nothing to do with the other. The 15% is on the price of $2,500. The $2,500 for the package price for the service, we're talking about the service. I don't care whether they go buy a loan from us or they get a loan from Joe Blow, or they can, at the scary part is, they can go back to Bank of America now that they got a 769 FICO, get a 3% loan from Bank of America. They don't need us anymore. That's the scary part. But when they do get a loan from us for, let's say, 50000 do we get a commission on that? Absolutely. And what is the point system on that? Same as it is in the, in the book that I sent you this morning. Go okay. in to open up the... Um, the manual is written all over it. They've got all kinds of examples. Have pay scale. Would that be considered unsecured business finance? It's a personal loan. I don't quite see the. Uh... No, you're getting the lines blurred. So let's get past the credit sterilization. That is one product. Get past that. The client has perfect credit now. What loan do you want to sell them? Whatever loan you want to sell them. So whatever you want to sell them at that point. Once they have perfect credit, they can go for the unsecured business funding. They can go for the personal term loan. They can go for a business term loan. They can go for an SBA loan. They can go for a buy, fix, and flip loan. They can go for a 100% CLTV loan. Any loan you want to sell them once they have perfect credit. But I don't see the personal term loan information in this packet. It's not in there, Frank. Oh, the PTL is not in there? Shocking. No. Shocking. When are we, we going to get traded? Okay, well, I do know where I stand in my 30 minutes. I stand at the end of my 30 minutes. Once Can you just say the percentage? Can you just tell us the percentage that we get on the personal loan before you go? Um, it would be ten percent of the ten percent, or it would be fifteen percent of the ten percent, wherever you are. If you're at the agent level, it's ten percent of the ten percent we charge. If you're at the under uh, at the pro level, it's fifteen percent of the ten percent that we charge. And if you're an underwriter you're going to get $250 for dragging it over the finish line. And if you're an underwriter and it's an agent, 5% of 
your agent or if you're pro, I don't think there's any override on the pro. All right. You, Did you mention right? the real estate master class? Oh, yes. The last thing I wanted to talk is real estate master class. Sorry, we're down to the wire. Anyone who wants to sign up for the real estate master class is going to have you contact Alice ready for you to sign up for the real estate master class. Alice, again, can be reached at Alice at Financial Group, LLC.com. And her phone number is 251-747-3618. She is prepared to help you sign up for the real estate master class when you are ready. I remember that there were two people that wanted to sign up today. We should be... Um, on Monday, I'm going to talk about forming up a team that's called accountability partners. People should be accountable to each other that they're going to go ahead and do what they're supposed to be doing. If we set up accountability teams, such as Patricia and Taylor, they'll be accountable to each other to do the things that they need to do. And with this real estate master class, it's at a 90% discount at $197 for the for two people. Two people can come in for $197. Contact Alice and she will write you up for it. And all you need is a credit card and go with that. Okay. Yeah, well, you well, go ahead. You said I'm, about to, I'm about to get cut off, so go ahead quick. Okay, no, you said yesterday you were going to pay 100 then David and I could pay each 50 And that's going to go out into the world? Oh, come on, Patricia. There's, yeah. only, there's only four of us on here. But I'm going to post, post it on YouTube. Oh, well, just erase what I said, I guess. Okay, I don't know how to I have to learn now. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Yes, the answer is still yes. Okay, thank you very much. All right, guys. I am at the end of my time. God bless you. Get in touch with Alice and we'll work this thing out. Thank Frank, you. Frank, I'm going to call you. Thank you, Frank. Right.